Ever found yourself drowning in the expectation to be nice to everyone? How's that been working out for you? In today's video, we're diving deep into a thought-provoking topic. Stop being nice to everyone. But worry not, we're not pushing for rudeness. Instead, let's unravel the profound teachings of Stoicism and understand how it can reshape your entire approach to kindness. Imagine this scenario. The relentless pursuit of pleasing everyone, leaving you emotionally drained and possibly a bit disoriented. This is where Stoicism steps in, an ancient philosophy urging us to focus on what we can control and gracefully let go of the rest. In this video, we're embarking on a journey to decipher the wisdom of Stoicism and uncover how it has the power to revolutionize the way we perceive and practice kindness. 1. Understanding Stoicism in Depth Originating in ancient Greece, Stoicism invites us to not just acknowledge, but actively cultivate virtue, resilience, and inner peace. It's not merely about being overly nice, it's a call to channel our energy towards actions and relationships that hold genuine meaning. It's a shift from quantity to quality in our expressions of kindness. 2. Don't apologize. A common way to start out is, I'm sorry, but... as people think that it sounds more polite. While politeness is important when you learn to say no, apologizing just makes it sound weaker. You need to be firm and unapologetic about guarding your time. When you say no, realize that you have nothing to feel bad about. You have every right to ensure you have time for the things that are important to you. 3. The Power of Saying No Stoicism empowers us to establish and maintain healthy boundaries. Practice saying no to those who ask you to put aside your personal needs to make their lives easier. If someone is asking you to endanger your own priorities for their benefit, at least give yourself time to consider the cost of doing so. Anyone who insists on an immediate answer deserves a no. You don't have to justify your reasons to anyone but yourself. 4. Cultivating Inner Resilience a journey within. Delving deeper into the stoic principle of detaching our happiness from external circumstances, we explore the transformative concept of embracing challenges with a calm mind. This deliberate approach is not just about facing adversity, but about developing a profound resilience. It's about being kind from a position of inner strength, transcending the need for external validation. Five. Practicing Mindful Kindness Unveiled Shifting our focus from a brief overview to a more extensive exploration, we investigate Stoicism's suggestion of intentional acts of goodwill. Instead of scattering kindness indiscriminately, we delve into the significance of focusing on meaningful connections and impactful gestures. It's an exploration of how this deliberate approach amplifies the positive impact of our kindness. In conclusion, as we navigate the depths of stop being nice to everyone, remember, it's not a call for apathy, but an invitation to fully embrace the profound wisdom of Stoicism. Redirect your energy, establish boundaries, and cultivate resilience. True kindness, as we've unveiled, stems from authenticity and genuine care, liberated from the need for constant external approval. If you found this comprehensive exploration insightful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who might find value in this detailed perspective. Let's continue this enriching conversation in the comments. Thanks for joining us on Unspoken Inspire, until next time, stay kind, stay stoic.